<laughs> hey guys, how you doing? I want to tell you guys something that um, I got a message about. So this message is quite a doozy. So you're going to have to bear with me here, okay? So this message was from an Aquarius man. The Aquarius man is in a relationship with an Aries woman, okay? Now, the relationship that they're in is a, uh, they're cheating. <laughs> Let me just put it out there. They're cheating with each other, okay? They're both in a relationship, but they're cheating with each other. So, the um, Aquarius man wants a relationship. And the Aries, we don't know what the Aries wants yet because he hasn't presented it to her. But this is the, the conversation. And he wants to know, what do we think about this? So I'm going to do the introduction and then we're going to get all up in this. <laughs> and talk about it from several different angles, okay? I am Queen Osset Haru and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and pass it on to somebody else who might like it too. Please drop us a positive comment in the comment section and stick around to the end of the video to check out the positive comments that I'm going to read today. If you would like to get a reading done, please email me or hit me up on social media. And everything else you need to know about me, my email, everything, my Amazon wish list, my PayPal, everything is underneath this video. Okay? So now, without further ado, we're going to hit today's topic. So, okay, so the, the Aquarius man and the Aries woman, they're both in relationships with other people, but the relationships they're in with other people, they live with the other person, okay? And what happened is, is that they both found themselves basically unhappy, unhappy in their relationships. They didn't want to leave the relationship. Uh, the Aries woman has children with her partner and the Aquarius man doesn't have any kids, but his partner has kids that he's been raising for years and years and years. Okay. So instead of them just ending these relationships, they decided to stay in them and just step out, which is never a good idea. So they stepped out with each other figuring, well, since you're with somebody, you're not going to want anything real from me. Right. <laughs> this almost always backfires. That's why I don't recommend it. Anyway, so now we're at this space where he said they're getting closer. He said that they're, they started off seeing each other once in a blue moon, you know, and over the past six months, this has been going on for a year. So in the, over the past six months, they've been seeing each other increasingly more. It went from once a week to twice a week. You know, it's, it's just increasing, you know? So he said that they're seeing each other more and more. They went from, you know, going Dutch on everything to like buying each other things. He pays for this, she pays for that. Um, they were using protection. They're not anymore. And I'm like, so what are you gonna do if she gets pregnant and then doesn't know who the father is? He didn't have an answer for that one. Um, uh, yeah, so they, they've been getting closer. The, the veil has been getting thinner. At first it was just lust. It was just sex. It was just casual. And that casual has turned into feelings. The other day he told me he feels like he's falling in love with her. And anybody who knows Aquarius knows that we don't, you, you, we're, we're kind of idealistic, you know, and some of us do love love. But for him to say that, you know, and he really has not said that to me before, I'm like, yeah, I think he's falling in love. So at least he thinks he is anyway. So he wants to know, do I think this could work? See, my first problem is this. I like the fact that he wants to have a legitimate relationship. He sees that he doesn't want to keep creeping. He doesn't want to keep deceiving. He wants to have a legitimate relationship with her. I respect that. I do. I respect it 100%. I'm like, okay, I like that. This is the problem. You're both cheating asses. <laughs> That's the problem. 
And see, I really can't trust a cheater. If I was cheating with you, and I've done this before in my lifetime, you know, I was in this situation with Voldemort, you know, and I get it. You know, you get to a point where you're like, look, either we're going to leave this alone or we're going to do something serious. I got you. But the point of the matter is, is that you can't trust a cheater. You're both cheaters. How are you going to trust her not to cheat on you when things get hard? How can she trust you not to cheat on her when things get difficult or you don't get enough sex that week or something else happens? I would never be able to trust a person that cheated with me because that says to me that you're capable of cheating. So my thing is, is that, okay, you said, okay, I want to make this official. So now you want me to be the one you cheat on. <laughs> now you want me to be in that position. And I don't know if she's going to feel that way. She might be, you know, totally turned on or turned off from it. I don't know. But I'm just giving you what I'm thinking, my thought process. If I was cheating with somebody and they said this to me, I would be thinking, okay, it's time to end this. That's what I would be thinking. Like, we need to end this now because they're getting too far down the road. And I ain't committing seriously to a cheater. We had a good time, but I don't trust you. That's where my head would be at. Now... Her head may not be in the same place. She might be just as much in love with him as he is in her. And she might be willing to let go of the other relationship to start this one. And that really is, you know, in my opinion, them coming together seriously or leaving each other completely alone are the only two options to me. It's like, go ahead and do the damn thing or leave that person alone because they don't want what you want. So it's going to be one or the other. So you guys can let us know in the comment section what you think about it. But that's my thought process about it. I do like the fact that he wants to go there. I just would have a really hard time with that because nine times out of 10, if you get with that person and something goes wrong, they're going to cheat on you too. It's already a precedence for it. She, the Aries, has been in her relationship and she has children by this man. They've been together for a long time. The oldest child, he said, was 11. So for at least 11 years, she's been with that man. The Aquarius has been with this woman off and on for four or five years. So you've both been in these committed relationships all this time. You're lying to her. The Aquarius has his... Um, significant other thinking that he's doing business trips throughout the week while he laying up in a hotel on City Line Avenue. <laughs> okay. And the Aries dropping off her kids with her mama so she can go down to the hotel with him. And I'm just like, what are you doing? So now you want to trust this person seriously? And it's a gamble. It's a straight up gamble. I like the idea, though, of either doing it or not doing it. I don't like the idea of continuing the affair. I don't like the idea of that because you're constantly lying to your other significant, you know, person. And you're going, a lot of, you might, I ain't going to say you're going to get caught. You might get caught. And then what? And every time I've creeped, I didn't get caught. <laughs> I never got caught. However... I know a lot of people who did get caught, male and female, usually male though. Many of the, oddly enough, many women get away with having, you know, um, infidelities. I think it's because women are a little bit more slick about it. And the men I've come across that, that I've experienced either in counseling or from friends or my own relationships, they're sloppy. They're sloppy -er. You know, women cross every T, dot every I. I've known women who've been in relationships. I know a woman right now that's messing with her husband's father. And we've been talking about this situation for like six years. She's been creeping with his father and he has no idea. So I'm like, mm, like I keep telling her, mm -mm, that's, that's the worst karma you can possibly imagine. But my point is, is that unfortunately, because women are so, you know, um, detail, oh, excuse me, <laughs> women are so detail oriented, a lot of women do that and get away with it. So either way, if they get away with it or not, either way is not cool.
it's it's just it's a lack of integrity bottom line if you don't want to be with somebody break off the relationship do your healing process and move on don't play with somebody's life because you lack integrity that's dead wrong now what is the aries husband and the aquarius uh woman doing his woman doing while these two were at the hotel <laughs> that's another question i asked him because i'm like if my dude is on constant business trips i'm gonna get newsy i'm gonna be on my newsy like all of a sudden in the past six months you gotta go on constant business trips that's suspicious you wasn't going on them before and i probably wouldn't even say nothing i would just be like observing you know so his woman or her dude could already know they could be doing their own thing who knows but my point is is that none of this has integrity so i would either get with this person seriously i would ask the aries are you open to a serious relationship and if she says no it's time to leave it alone and in the future, look at your relationship because that's what a real problem is. If you do leave the Aries alone, figure out what's the problem in your relationship and fix it or move on. Maybe the problem is, is you're both with the wrong person. Maybe you don't even belong with each other, but just not with the person that you're with. Okay. All right, guys, let's take a look at our positive comments. The first one comes from more life, more love. Ashe. I feel like another one is having the savior complex. Some people won't leave a lover because of this. So I had asked for other reasons why a person might have a hard time leaving a lover and more life thinks it's a savior complex. And some people do have a savior complex. They want to be able to save people that are around them. So if they're in a relationship with somebody and the person is having a hard time, um, they're unhealed or something is wrong, they won't let them go because they do want to save them. So yes, I agree with that one 100%. I have seen that from some people. Libra girl. Hey, Libra girl. Everybody knows that Libras are my favorite. Libra girl 80. Libra girl said Aquarius procrastination is deep. I work and clean. He doesn't. And I'm trying to get him to be more productive. I know I did not just hear a Libra say <laughs> somebody procrastinating. Are you serious? Now, I don't know Libra girl 80 personally. So she might not be a procrastinator and she says she's the one doing all the cleaning and deep work. But <laughs> I know a lot of Libras. I have a Libra collection. And when you talk about procrastination, procrastination is an air sign. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. That's something that many of us do struggle with. But Libra struggles with it the most out of the three. If you look it up, if you look at different astrology books, you see procrastination underneath Libra every single time. So I know you ain't go there. <laughs> That's something we share, sweetheart. <laughs> Not just one or the other. We share that one. And if he doesn't work or clean and you want him to be more productive, I don't know about that, honey. I really don't seriously because productivity comes from within. You can't make another person, you know, be more productive. You can encourage them. You can ask them. You can do all of those things. But if he's not productive, that's a problem. He's lacking motivation for a reason. It could be depression. It could be anxiety. It could be a number of different things. I can't really diagnose him, you know, but a therapist could. And that's where I would take him because your chances of getting him to be more productive are a lot higher if a professional can see what's wrong why is there a reason is he is he smoking herb all day is he is he drinking is he depressed is he what what's the problem there's a problem there because the average person will work they'll clean a little something something or get somebody else to do it like i do um and they will have some level of productivity so that's not an aquarius trait that sounds like a mental or emotional health issue you're dealing with, not a Zodiac issue. And a lot of people make that mistake. 
You know, some people will say to me, oh, I think this is because this person is this, or it's because they're a Scorpio. And I'm like, nah, it's because something's wrong. <laughs> something's wrong here. Because the average person has some, especially in Aquarius, we're so creative. So something is going wrong there. Okay. Thank you for your comment. All right, guys, it's time for us to get going. So you come back soon because I got a lot more to say. See you later.